In this uh, tutorial, we will examine a term called process lethality. It is also sometimes referred to as F value or TDT, the thermal death time. Now, in thermal processing, our goal is to sterilize a food that is uh, sealed in a container such as a can or a glass bottle when it is given a certain heat treatment. So we want to have a method that can tell us about the effectiveness of that thermal process in terms of sterilization. Now we know that different foods will heat at different rates. We have foods that are solid or foods that are liquid. So it is expected that based on their thermal properties, these foods will heat or cool at different rates. So based on the heating conditions, we could expect different temperature time treatments that may be received by the food. So we need a procedure where we can compare the effect of different heating treatments to reduce microbial population. So for this purpose, we determine process lethality, as I mentioned before, also called the F value or the thermal death time TDT. Now F value is uh, defined as the number of minutes to accomplish a given reduction in the microbial population at a specific temperature. Note that the F value is always in minutes, in units of time, and it reflects a certain reduction in the microbial population at a specified temperature. So F value is normally expressed with a superscript and a subscript. And we have here F with a subscript T and a superscript lowercase z. Now z is the z value of the microorganism that you would have observed in another tutorial when we were looking at the thermal characteristics of a microorganism. And T is the temperature. So in uh, food science literature, we write F, T, and Z. And if the temperature T is selected as some reference temperature, then we can also write F, Z in the superscript and T reference in the subscript. It is very common in uh, thermal processing that we use a reference temperature of 121.1 degrees C, which is equivalent to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And Z for the microorganism as 10 degrees C, which is equivalent to 18 degrees Fahrenheit. This uh, particular F value where we have a Z of 10 degrees C and a reference temperature of 121.1 degrees C is simply written as F and a subscript 0, and we normally call this F0. So F0 is the number of minutes required to destroy a specified number of microbial spores at 121.1 degrees C when Z for that microbial spore is 10 degrees C. Now the, the value for F0 that are commercially used are shown in this table where we note that for vegetables, a typical F0 value is three to six minutes. In other words, at 121.1 degrees C, and a Z value of 10 degrees C, the F value will be between three and six minutes. For soups, the uh, value is between four to five minutes. For meats in gravy, you require a much higher F0 value, 12 to 15 minutes. And another product, herring, 
fish in uh, tomato sauce, the F0 value is between 6 and 8 minutes. Now, in a previous tutorial, you will recall that we can determine F value at any temperature if the Z value is known. So, in another tutorial, we obtained this expression, FTZ equals FT reference Z into 10 raised to power T reference minus T over Z. Now, if the reference temperature is 121.1 degrees C and Z equals 10 degrees C, then we can replace FT reference Z with F0 in this expression. So, if we select the value for F0 as 1 minute, then we can write FT for a Z value of 10 equals 10 raised to power 121.1 minus T divided by 10. So, if the temperature is 131.1 degree C, we can go ahead and substitute the value for T and what we will get is 10 raised to power minus 10 over 10, uh, you know, when you subtract 131.1 out of 121.1, you'll get a negative. So, we have 10 raised to power minus 10 over 10, that equals 10 raised to power minus 1 or that is 0 0.1 minute. If we select T of 111.1 degree C, we will substitute for temperature T 111.1 and now we will get 10 raised to power 10 over 10 which equals 10 raised to power 1 and that is 10 minutes. So, this uh, small computation tells us that 10 minutes at 111.1 degree C are equivalent to 1 minute at 121.1 degree C and 0 0.1 minute at 131.1 degree C. So, we can easily convert the F value to any other temperature using this expression if the F value for a reference temperature is known. Also, looking at these numbers, uh, you can see that at higher temperatures like 131 degree C, you require a shorter thermal death time, which is 0 0.1 minutes here, compared to thermal death time when the temperature is lower. So, we require 10 minutes at 111.1 degree C. So, this is to illustrate how we can convert the values of thermal death time.